Hey y'all, if you watched the last Genshin Impact recipe, you'll know that I said I was done with recipes from Genshin Impact, but I lied. I'm going to be making a dish that everyone's favorite boy will approve. No, not him. Everyone's favorite wolf boy, Razor. Today, I'm making a special variant puppy paw hash browns that only Razor can make in the game. This will definitely be the last Genshin Impact food video for now. A simple enough recipe, the only difficult part will be making the hash browns look like a paw. Side note, even though Razor calls these hash browns, I can't help but think that this has more of a tater tot feel. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But without further ado, let's begin. The main ingredient is, of course, potatoes. I have a few washed and peeled russet potatoes here. I suggest only using russet or Idaho potatoes for this as any other potatoes such as red or golden potatoes will give a weird texture in the frying process. If you have a grater, grate the potatoes, but if you're like me, use a food processor. Pulse the potatoes in the food processor until broken down, but not a paste. We still want that texture. Dump the potatoes into a pot of salted boiling water and parboil for a few minutes. Technically, it's better to boil then put in the food processor, but I realized that after I finished making this recipe. After a few minutes, dump the potatoes into a bowl, season with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and any other seasonings you might like. Then sprinkle in two tablespoons of potato starch. If you don't have this, cornstarch or all-purpose flour is fine as well. This will help bind the natural starches in the potatoes together when forming the hash browns. Loop up your hands using either water or oil. This will help the potatoes not stick to your hands when forming the paws. Begin by forming the palm of the paw. I tried to match the size to my own palm and the size was good enough for me. It's almost as if making a hamburger patty but a bit more oval shaped. Afterwards, create four little ball shapes that will act as fingers for the paw. Mine were about one inch in diameter but match it according to the size you made the palm. To help create the paw shape, I utilized the help of wooden toothpicks. Pierce the palm with the toothpick and then place a finger on the other end and mold and shape accordingly. Leave a bit of the toothpick sticking out for easy removal later. After all the paws are made, place in the freezer for 10 minutes. This will help the shape hold so it does not fall apart in the frying process. Meanwhile, preheat some neutral oil to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. After the potatoes spent their time in the freezer, carefully place into the oil and deep fry for a total of 6 to 8 minutes. If the hash browns are not fully submerged in oil, do 3 to 4 minutes per side and flip halfway. After they're done, let them cool and drain in the excess oil. Carefully remove the toothpicks from the paws. If done correctly, the fingers should have binded with the paws during the frying process. However, if they didn't, this can happen. And all the fingers don't drop off, we're good. I win. But they should hold together and you'll have adorable deep fried wolf puppy paw hash browns. Try saying that five times fast. Pair this with any dipping sauce you'd like. I couldn't tell what the dip was in the image, but I did a simple mixture of ketchup and mayonnaise to match the flavor and considering the jam in the Genshin Impact recipe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe for more food content. Check out my Twitch streams and Discord channel for even more food content. This was a fun recipe and a great way to end the Genshin Impact series. Who knows, I might be back if there are future updates within the game and more recipes are added. But until then, I'll see you on the next one.